The profit stories, profit stories are amazing, are amazing. We like to hear the profit stories, profit stories. We like to hear the profit stories. Prophet Jonah, also known as Yunus in Arabic, peace be upon him, was known as the Nun. The people of the town of Nineveh had more than 100,000 people. They used to worship the idols and did not believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They also lived a shameless life. To guide those people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Prophet Yunus, peace be upon him. He taught them to worship the only God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The people did not like his advice because they were used to doing their own way of worship. So, they argued. We and our forefather has worshipped those gods for many years and no harm has come to us. He tried to convince them that it was foolish of them to worship the idols and that they should follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's laws. But they ignored him. He also warned them that if they kept on with their foolishness, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment would come soon. But they were very bad people. They told Prophet Yunus, peace be upon him, that they were not afraid of his threats, and they told him. Let it happen. Prophet Yunus, peace be upon him, became very sad and angry, and he said to them, In that case, I will leave you alone. He was very angry at them. He lost his hope on his people. He thought Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment would come to his people at any time. So he left his people and tried to leave away from the town Nineveh, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appointed him as a prophet to guide those people. He hardly left the city when the skies began to change color and looked as if they were on fire. When the people saw that, they started to fear. They tried to remember the story of Ad and Thamud and Noah. What are the stories of Ad and Thamud? Who can tell me the story of Ad? I can tell the story of Ad is the story of Hud alayhi wasallam. Mashallah! And the story of Thamud? I can tell the story of Thamud is the story of Prophet Salai, please be upon him. Mashallah! That's very good! Now let's come back to our story. When they saw the punishment was coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to destroy them like the people of Ad and Thamud, their hearts were filled with faith of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everyone in the town, adults and children, gathered in the mountain and started to cry to get mercy and forgiveness from their creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Their loud cry reflected on the mountains and filled with an echo sound. In that crucial moment, their sincere apology from their heart were accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He removed his anger and blessed them once again. Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive them and not the people of Ad and Thamud? Because every single person from the town asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness. If anyone asks forgiveness from their heart, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive them. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is merciful. We can always ask forgiveness from Him. He loves to forgive people. But we are lazy to ask forgiveness from Him. Then what happened? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removed the storm from them, they prayed for the return of Prophet Yunus, peace be upon him, to guide them. But Prophet Yunus, peace be upon him, was far away from the town and got on a small passenger ship to cross the sea. It sailed all day in calm waters with good wind blowing at the sails. When night came, the sea suddenly changed. A horrible storm blew as if it was going to break the ship into pieces. The waves were very big and wild. They rose up as high as the mountains. 
In the meantime, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent one of the biggest whale in the ocean. He was right behind the ship and kept his mouth open and obeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to follow the ship. They did not know what to do. The chief crewman asked the others to lighten the ship's heavy load. So they threw their baggage in the water, but it was not enough for their safety. At that time, non-believers thought the sea and wind were some of their gods. So they decided to please their angry gods by throwing the people one by one in the sea. But it was very hard for them to choose whom they would throw at first. So they drew a lottery among themselves. His name would come up, they would be thrown into the sea. When they started to draw the lottery, Prophet Yunus's name appeared. But they knew that he was a good man and the most honorable person among themselves. So they did not throw him in the sea. They started to draw the lottery a second time. Again, Prophet Yunus's name appeared. They wanted to give him one more chance. In the third time, his name came up again. That time, Prophet Yunus peace be upon him realized that Allah subhanahu wa hand was all in this because he did not take permission from Allah subhanahu wa to leave the mission for his people. When he realized the storm was because of him, he stood at the edge of the ship and threw himself in the sea by the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Immediately, he disappeared in a huge wave and the whale waiting for him swallowed him in his stomach. By Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's order, the whale took Prophet Yunus people behind him to the bottom of the sea. In the darkness of the night, Prophet Yunus imagined himself to be dead. But when he could move, he realized that he was alive. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put him in three levels of darkness. Who can tell me the three levels of the darkness? I can tell. One was the darkness of night, and one was the darkness of a whale's stomach. I know the third one, the darkness of the bottom of the sea. MashaAllah, that's very good! In that darkness, he was scared of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was very sorry for his mistake. And he prostrated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the belly of the whale and recited the very powerful dua for his pardon. Do you know that dua? Yes, I know. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu minazzalimin. Do you know the meaning of this? There is no God but you. Glory to you. Indeed, I was wrong. MashaAllah. That is a very powerful dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us through Prophet Yunus, peace be upon him. He continued praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and started to become sick in the belly of the whale. His skin was affected with the acids of the whale's stomach. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saw the sincere repentance of Prophet Yunus peace be upon him, he commanded the whale to release Prophet Yunus peace be upon him into an island. When he was released in the shore, he was very ill and the sun's heat burned his affected skin. To protect Prophet Yunus peace be upon him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grew a plant to protect him from the sun's heat. In short, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala recovered him and forgave him. And he told him that he was saved because he prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala regularly. Otherwise, he would be in the whale's stomach till the day of judgment. After that, he regained his strength and found his way to his hometown, Nineveh. He was surprised to see the change of his people. The entire population became Muslims and accepted him as a prophet. Together, they prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his mercy. This is the end of our prophet story for today. Inshallah, next time, we will learn another beautiful story of the prophet. The prophet story. 
If you like our videos, to support Ikra Cartoon, please share and subscribe to our channel.